coming up on Discover Oklahoma, barbecue that'll make your mouth water. A trip to the zoo and exploring our great state parks. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. And welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean Olala. Today we're coming to you from the Pioneer Woman Museum in Ponca City. This is a great place that tells the story of women in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. especially on those women who came here in the early days when I think nothing was easy. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Everything no, was hard. Not at all. And we'll tell you more about the exhibits here in just a little bit. But first, I'm happy to say it's finally spring in Oklahoma. Oh. Finally. <laughs> and that means it's time to get out and enjoy the sun. And on that note, Jason Grubbs is going to take us to the Tulsa Zoo. <laughs> The zoo has celebrated 85 years. We have about 84 acres. And about 3,800 species. This is Northeast Oklahoma's wild side, the Tulsa Zoo. We are the region's largest daily attraction. We have about 550,000 guests each year. Year after year, those guests enjoy the classics, like elephants, tigers, lions, and giraffes. He's a big fella. Get up close at the petting zoo with goats, bunnies, and pigs. Sometimes you can catch this pot belly out and about on its daily walk. This is a family group of siamangs. We have four individuals. New to the zoo is this little one. You can barely see the baby monkey hanging on to its mama. Zoological manager Pat Murphy has been working around here for more than 30 years. He says this is an important birth. The siamang is an endangered species, and they're a long way from home. They're found in Malaysia and Sumatra in the rainforest. It's nice to know that you're contributing towards conservation. They're not sure whether the little one is a male or female, so there isn't a name just yet. The baby is on mom 24-7, so it's, it's, it's tough sometimes to get a very good look. While it might be a while to get a really good look at the new little monkey, it's hard to miss these zoo residents. The Aldabras can weigh up to 400 pounds. It's the second largest tortoise in the world, right behind the Galapagos. I'm here with Celeste, and this is Big Al. He is older than the state of Oklahoma. He's about 125 years, that's what they estimate. But uh, they also have some new guys on display as well. About every two years, Big Al gets some company. That's typically when new hatchlings show up. Nine this latest go around. Four have gone to other institutions. The minute that they hear that we had hatchlings, they're on the phone, they're on the email. Hey, how many did you have? Can we have one? There's always a waiting list for the Aldabra. Celeste says she'd like to see more of them stay, but they've also got to make sure there's enough space for more babies. There are very few institutions that have actually had success breeding them. We're the only institution that has done it more than once and continue to do it. In Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Spring always just seems to fly by and then all of a sudden it's summer, so this is the perfect time to plan your trips to our great state parks. Let's get started with a look at Sequoia State Park on Lake Fort Gibson. Here we are at Fort Gibson Lake, the home of Sequoia State Park, and today we're going to show you all you got to see. This place is awesome. When you come to Sequoia Park, we're on a little over 2,000 acres. So there's a lot here in the park. We have the Nature Center, we have a full service marina, we have a stables operation, so you have horseback rides. We have about 12 miles worth of mountain bike and trails. What about golfers? I think there's a little course over here that's pretty decent. Yeah, we have an 18-hole golf course. The golf course is in great shape. One thing that we did add this year that is, has been kind of catching on is disc golf. We added that and it is played actually on our 18-hole golf course. It's set there with it so you can play it from our regular tees that the golfers play from or we have it set up for a par 3 where you can play it as a regular disc golf set. So Tony, now we're inside the uh, Nature Center and I mean, I'm, I'm amazed at what all you can see and, and when you bring groups in and, and just people in general, they can kind of walk through here out on their own, I guess. But yeah, you can come in, look at the uh, artificial exhibits or you can walk out back, you can see the natural exhibits that we have. We have uh, two gray fox and a coyote out back and some birds. We have an eagle and an owl out in the, in the cage. We got a beaver pond out front with a beaver in it and then of course you saw the 
the turtles in the beaver pond out there too, so you can get, learn to identify some of the different turtles. Tony was picking on me, I thought the turtles were fake. I even asked him, are those mechanical? <laughs> And of course, there's a wide range of lodging options at Sequoia State Park. You could tent camp, stay at Sequoia Lodge. The pool, by the way, at Sequoia Lodge has been recently remodeled, and it is the perfect place to escape the summer heat. You'll also want to check out the cabins, which have all new interiors. We have cabins that are accommodate two, four, or six, or you can get in a unit that has an adjoining side and rent both sides. So we, we kind of fit your need based on how many people you have. So now we've talked about it and we're all excited and you got everybody going, okay, well, what do they look like? Can we go see some? Absolutely, let's go inside. Let's go. Whoa, get a load of this place. New furniture, beds, lights, kitchen, and the rustic hickory. I'm telling you, you feel like you're in tune with the park. I can't wait until they finish the decks on these lakeside cabins. Imagine sunset views from here, sweet. So we took an old comfort station, converted it into what we call a lake hut. It's called Ray Haven. It's basically a place that has a bed in it, it has some chairs, a TV, coffee pot, microwave, air conditioning, heat and air in it. We have uh, six campgrounds here. The biggest option is that we have a brand new campground in Seminole, and it has everything that they need anymore. It has 20 amp, 30 amp, 50 amp service, some with sewer, some without, asphalt entryways to it, grills, lantern hangers, picnic table at every site, so it's a beautiful area. Our last stop here at Sequoia State Park is the group camp. 153 can sleep in this area, and we're finding out the church camps like it, you know, family get-togethers, family reunions even, so if you're that outdoorsy type, you would really kind of love this. So think about it, we've showed you the bunkhouse, and we've showed you the lodge, and the cabanas, and the cabins. There's just so much I can't name it all off. So make your next road trip to Sequoia State Park. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Jeff Roberts. It's easy to check out all of our state parks online, even book a cabin or a room at the lodges just by going to our website, TravelOK.com. Well, check on all your fire extinguishers because this is the time of year we start <laughs> firing up the grill. <laughs> but if you want to leave the barbecue to the experts, we've got just a place that you need to go. Barbecue. Smoked meats. If you can eat it, we can smoke it. <laughs> That's kind of it. My trip to Backdoor Barbecue in the center of Oklahoma City is coming up. And a little bit later, Quinn Tran gives us a tour of Roman O State Park. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. On the road, one never knows what lies ahead. Indubitably, almost every week, one encounters bad form from Sunday drivers. Sheer rudeness begets the occasional fender bender. Precisely why we have insurance from AAA. Here, here. A name drivers can trust. Especially good ones. Especially great ones. Cheers! Whoa! Every night, sit alone and talk and watch a hawk. Making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. And we belong to his land. So when we say, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Come see for yourself. an accident rewind button, there's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're coming to you today from the Pioneer Woman Museum in Ponca City. You know, Oklahoma pioneers certainly came up with and improvised all kinds of great foods on the plane, but it's a city slicker who brought backdoor barbecue to life. Come with me now as we try out some very tasty Q. Barbecue is an art form and a philosophy. It's also an age-old method of cooking. What is good barbecue is completely subjective, of course. At Backdoor Barbecue, here's the scoop, short and sweet. Barbecue, smoked meats. If you can eat it, we can smoke it. That's kind of it. Well, there you have it. But of course, there's more to the story. We're getting known for fatty brisket, which is the fatty part of the brisket. Uh, it's 
marbled with, it's just really delicious. We smoke it for 14 hours and that fatty part of the brisket is just buttery delicious. They are also known for having a sandwich that changes once a day or every couple of days called the Beast Witch. And the Beast Witch can be anything from lamb to duck to today we're doing a rib tip, grilled cheese sandwich, we've done alligator, we've once again, if you can eat it, we can smoke it. And speaking of smoking, it's time to talk about Backdoor Barbecue's ribs. We smoke them for four hours, nice and slow, and then we wrap them and let them sit in some bacon fat and a little apple juice, and so they just kind of get nice and moist and delicious and fall off the bone. Like other great pairings like Fred and Ginger and Rock and Roll accompanying those flavorful meats are tasty sides like potato salad, coleslaw, and fried pickled okra. Now whether it's the brisket, ribs, pulled pork, you want sauce, Backdoor Barbecue has sauce. We've got six different sauces on the table, which nobody else has six different sauces anywhere that I've ever been. There's a sweet, a classic, an espresso that has been the sleeper. People didn't think they were gonna like it and they love it. We have a hot, a mustard, which is kind of a Carolina style mustard. And then people kept telling us that our Hot wasn't hot enough, so we made a triple X. And we still have a few people who say it's not hot enough. What's also hot right now is 23rd Street. This is the perfect street. I mean, look at all the traffic. We, you know, let's, let's put big truck tacos here. And then we decided to open Mutt's, and it was just kind of a natural thing to look on 23rd Street. And so we opened Mutt's. And again, opening something else, it's a natural thing to just go down the street and it'll all just be right here. We call it the 23rd Street Shuffle when you you go from one restaurant to the other to the other and then back to the other, you know. Before I wrap things up with dessert, Backdoor Barbecue has a lot of fun items such as the PB&J, which is pork brisket jalapeno sausage, and the Big Oki, a filling bacon cheeseburger. Don't forget the salads too. Now desserts, and in typical Backdoor Barbecue style, get ready for something completely different. It's called... Chocolate dirt. We have our desserts come in mason jars. Uh, if you want to take it to go, you pay a dollar. If you want to bring it back, we'll give you a dollar back, but most of the time they don't come back to us. It's chocolate pudding. It's like worms and dirt without the worms. It's chocolate pudding made on the stove. The batch that we make it has eight pounds of chocolate in it. So it's not your mom's chocolate pudding. You can find all kinds of great places to eat in the new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide. It's easy to get your copy. Just go to TravelOK.com and click on where it says Request Free Brochures. And while you're there, you can also plan your trip to one of our wonderful state parks. Can't decide which one to visit? No worries, we're here to help you choose. Coming up, we're gonna check out Roman Note. And believe it or not, I think it's time to eat again. My trip to Don's Alley, where they say everything is very good, very sweet, and very fattening. Still ahead on Discover Oklahoma. We had been hearing on the news to um, prepare that it was very likely for severe tornadoes to happen. My neighbor was standing two doors down and we were able uh, to go into his cellar and take shelter. All the trees were gone, houses were gone. Uh, it was just terrible. Until you've been there, you, you just can't imagine what, what it's like to come home and not have a home. They didn't know what to do, what the next step was, and that's our goal. We want to help them get to the next, the next thing and, and help them feel better and not stressed, you know, during this process. There's, they have enough going on, you know, they just lost everything that we want them to feel better. It has just gone so smooth, I don't even know how to express how easy it's been. I feel so blessed to um, have AAA as our insurance. If I only had one thing to say about AAA, it would be that I never did feel like a client. I always felt like family. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Ponca City this week at the Pioneer Woman Museum. Great place to visit. One of many museums you might want to get out and check out uh, on a summer road trip. And another item that needs to be on your summer bucket list is a trip, of course, to an Oklahoma State Park. Okay. And Quinn Tran actually takes us to Romano State Park in Watonga. Tucked away just north of Watonga is this place of natural beauty. Romano State Park is known for its deep canyons, gypsum rock cliffs, natural springs, and its long history. Romano's is one of Oklahoma's original seven state parks, built in 1937. 
Later additions came along uh, in the 50s with the addition of a golf course and a lodge. The golf course was expanded in the 80s. Um, lodge renovated just a few years ago. Uh, but the canyon itself has a rich history, originally a camp for the Cheyenne, also the original allotment for Henry Romano's. As park manager, Travis Lindley knows where to find the best views and quiet hideouts. That's one of the beauties of the park is almost any park you go to is if you can find the little nooks and crannies and spots you can kind of make your own and little, little places to just tuck yourself away and enjoy nature, read a book or hang out. And the size of the park seems big just because of the actual physical geography of the park. Plenty of canyons, uh, two small lakes, three natural springs, a lot to go out and roam around and an easy place to get lost even at 635 acres. We've got about oh, roughly nine miles of trail system through the park. It's, it's a great backdrop. The park matches my personality. I'm sort of a naturalist at heart, you know. It matches me. I, I want to be out there somewhere just, just hanging out and I, I like to help people go out and enjoy the natural beauty of the park and uh, educate them about um, what's important here. What's important to know, Roma No State Park offers recreational opportunities for everyone, from equestrians and hikers to golfers. This is Oklahoma's only canyon-style golf course, a scenic yet challenging experience. The 13th hole can be unlucky for some. Golfers from all over the state are attracted to this unique course. We've got uh, the stay and play package, which includes a room and golf. Um, some of them include meals, depending on how far you want to go, anywhere from 65 to about $100. That includes a room at the lodge, uh, 36 holes to unlimited holes of golf, depending on which package you choose. It's the outdoor setting. It's the chance to go out and, like I said, even at only 635 acres, you feel like you're a long ways from uh, civilization, your car, it's that escape, it's a good chance to get out and enjoy nature in a pretty pristine city. Uh, this is our uh, patio here and it's a very popular place. Uh, you know, people will come out in the spring, fall and summer and have a nice craft beer and enjoy the views. This relaxing view is from the park's lodge patio that was recently renovated along with the accommodations. The existing part of it they tore down and so we have 22 lodge rooms, 10 cabins, uh, two suites, and uh, we also have a pool and a patio for dining out here. We've worked real hard on our menu, and uh, when we first started, people kind of thought we were just a cafe that had hot dogs and nachos, and we're much, much more than that. So um, our banquet menu will include all the way from, you know, salmon to uh, filet mignon, and so it kind of, you know, that's, I think that's what makes us really unique. Eric Wood, the lodge manager, says the Romano's Lodge restaurant has become a dining destination and a gathering place for musical entertainment. We've got a live acoustic music every second Saturday of the month here. Northwest Oklahoma doesn't have a huge music scene, so we thought we'd offer the guests something different for them to come out here. And uh, not only do they get to see the park, but then in the evening they can come have nice dinner and listen to some live music. The big thing is we're only about an hour away from Oklahoma City, and uh, I think that's what makes it a real premier destination. So if they want to stay somewhere really unique and get to see one of Oklahoma's uh, original seven. It's a great place to come to. We've been traveling Oklahoma for a long time. Sometimes we don't want to say how long we've been traveling <laughs> Oklahoma, but there's one thing we've learned in those years. And that is sometimes the best place is right under your nose. I'm headed out to pull up a chair at one of the Oklahoma City Metro's hottest spots to eat when Discover Oklahoma continues. Hail. Hail. It's just frozen rain. Can we just please pull over? There's going to be dents all over the car. What are we, storm chasers? This is insane! Hmm. Until there's a climate control knob that actually controls the climate... See, thank you for agreeing with me. There's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. Oh, when the wind comes sweeping down the floor. And the waving wing. Kiss your snow sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is grand. So when we say, I am the wind. We're only saying you're beautiful in Oklahoma. 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 Come see for yourself.
until there's an impenetrable force field to protect your car from woodland creatures. There's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. So nice to meet you. This is a competitive comparison. We want to find out which vehicle you prefer. The favorite part about the Focus was the handling and the power. That is hybrid style mileage. Oh wow, it's really spacious. I could probably fit a surfboard in here. Driving this Civic feels like a compromise. Focus is my baby, I'm sold. Now get a Focus with up to 2,500 cash back or choose 0% for 60 months plus 500 cash. Visit your Oklahoma Ford dealer today. The best in Oklahoma. Welcome back. We're proud to have AAA Oklahoma as our sponsor. We couldn't do this without them. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. Motor club programs like AAA Roadside Assistance used to be a driver's only option when their car needed rescue on the road. Nowadays, however, hundreds of businesses are offering roadside assistance packages. So what makes AAA the best choice? Well, for starters, we cover the person, not the car. Insurance programs only offer coverage for the vehicle on the policy and often count roadside assistance as a claim, causing rates to go up. New car warranties call for dealership service, often requiring upfront payment and may have gaps in coverage that could leave you stranded or stuck with an unexpected bill. 53 million members trust AAA because AAA protects you 24-7 no matter what vehicle you're in with the most comprehensive coverage available on the market. Visit AAA.com to learn more. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. For some people, eating out isn't just a meal, it's a sport. And in my family, it's actually a contact sport, but that's a whole <laughs> other story. <laughs> you know, sometimes finding that perfect diner can maybe feel like winning a major trophy, and that's just the case when you visit Don's Alley in Dell City. When Don Moore started his restaurant in 1955, the menu was quite small, hamburgers, baked ham, chicken fried steak. And over the years, as his business grew, needless to say, to no one's surprise, now... We have a very big menu. Uh, we have people that order a gallon of chicken and noodles and take it back to Cushing uh, regularly. Uh, we have people that order beans. We had a man the other day that wanted to order an order. He was leaving on a jet plane, uh, a gallon of noodles. And uh, I hope he got there. <laughs> This is a family-run business and has been for years. In fact, pretty much all the recipes came from his mom. Everything we have is kind of an old-fashioned way of cooking. My mother taught me that when I was a kid. And I would cook at home, and I would help my mother bake cakes. We had chicken and dumplings, and the gravies and the cobblers, and I brought that with me into the restaurant. And those recipes create home-style cooking dishes like meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy, chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken, all kinds of soups, chicken and dumplings, burgers, you name it, and of course desserts such as cobblers and pies. Everything is made from scratch. When I started here, there was no McDonald's in Dale City. Uh, there was no Sonics. Uh, it was all individuals like myself that had a mom and pop restaurant. Uh, they've all died or they quit. And I've been lucky, I'm still working. And that's one of the secrets to his success. Don simply loves what he does and adds through all the years, he never thought about leaving. It's been a life of working hard, being honest and serving people. It's amazing how many people tell, tell me, we're so proud you're open. We come from southwest Oklahoma City. We're located southeast. Uh, we have people from Edmond. But these customers say, we love your restaurant. We love you. you. There is no other restaurant like this. That happens every day. And I think that's one reason that I keep working. I don't want to uh, quit. It's. It's more than a, just a job. You know it's more than a job when he knows his customers so well he can predict when they will be coming in next. I can tell you who's gonna be here Saturday morning for breakfast. That is true. And we know what they're gonna eat. 
That's true, too. By the way, Don's Alley is one of 27 Oklahoma restaurants featured in the current edition of Oklahoma Today magazine. They're right here, and they focus on restaurants worth the drive. Pick up a copy at newsstands across the state or subscribe online at travelok.com. And a big thank you to the folks here at the Pioneer Women Museum in Ponca City for hosting us today. If you do get a chance to stop by while they have this breaking news Oklahoma Women in Journalism exhibit going on, be sure and come back here and note that there you are. I'm not saying I'm old, but I have <laughs> artifacts in this exhibit. So come check it out. It is an impressive exhibit, and I want your autograph after the show. All right. Coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, we're headed down south to check out one of the prettiest events in the state, Durant's Magnolia Festival. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.